aging face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what's up guys and welcome to more news of course from Sun and Moon. And we're gonna go record the two Pokemons that I was talking about yesterday. Finally got a picture re revealing of course that these are the real deal. And yeah. Also a bit of a slap on the fingers for me, of course, not being patient enough to wait until the, of course, picture was showcased. Having that said, we have, of course, a new, what well, looks to the new pseudo-legendary, so Jagmo, of course, that small dragon is gonna turn into Yarengo, and Jarange, and, or Jarange. And these look super, super cool. I actually like these to um, follow the illusion. It wasn't too much of interest, of course, to Jagmo. Uh, because I thought it looks kind of weird, but uh, Yarengo and Yarange really, really looks the part. And it seems like they're going with um, something I thought was very smart. And that is a samurai look, to some extent at least. Um, and it, it makes sense, going for a fighting type and um, dragons usually being, you know, somewhat honorable, somewhat respectful. Um, going with a look of a samurai would of course be a, a very, very or usually are contributed and viewed as um, very honorable warrior, you know, dying for their country and whatnot. So I think this is the right way to go it. I think there's a samurai look. At least the last stage looks definitely light hat. And yeah, I'm, I'm not disappointed. and uh, Not disappointed at all. I, I will say this, the last stage kind of looked like it taking the same, same stand as the Dragon. But, uh, you know, there are only so many looks you can do, or sense, it doesn't necessarily matter. But just a small tip for you guys I, I just viewed. Outside of that, it looks awesome. I am super, super intrigued by this. And I really hope this is a pseudo-legendary, because Gudra didn't necessarily fill the void uh, or the part of um, the pseudo-legendary we needed. If this is the part, then it's gonna be great. But this is definitely not the biggest news, sadly. I, I would be completely fine by this, but... They knocked it out of the park, of course, with the next Pokemon that they, of course, got showcased. So we finally got a face for Sylvandi, type Null's evolution, and oh, it, it looks it, it looks awesome. Um, the thing is here, you know, it probably looks closer to the real evolution, but losing the helmet for this robotic look and uh, keeping its kind of spot and um, helmet or least look of it. It just screams design. <laughs> I have no other word for it. It's just, it looks so cool. I was debating if it was a griffin at first, but it's still a manticore, even though it isn't a lion face. It still is something very, very, very interesting. Now, it has that weird um, ability, it's called AR system, which basically means if we have an item, it could change it possible. Um, um, individual typing depending on the item it holds what I'm trying to say and it basically is like Arceus and um, the, you know there are things lost in translations and you know whether or not this is the case but it seems to be something within that area and I really like that I thought it was super super cool uh, it seems the evolution seems to be enforced on that um, trainer um, or the type null trusted trainer so it seems to be like one of those friendly evolutions as a loose helmet and then evolve into go for its full of power. And it gets a new attack which is called multi attack, which changes its base stats depending on of course. <sighs> Sorry. Um, base um, yeah base typing depending on of course uh, the item total. So it's basically a judgment. Um, we don't know how strong this Pokemon will be, of course. No base stat is revealed. It all will probably come full circle once of course the demo is out when like I said, the data mine is probably gonna start, but uh, for all I care, this is this is cool. This is definitely this is definitely a nice design. Uh, out of a meta standpoint, I know that this could be uh, a tough Pokemon to be staying in the meta, but I feel at the same time that this could be also, I guess you should say, as Neuven was introduced in previous generation, and also uh, like Bell how we got Beldum, Metagross, and Metang, and all them. That this might be the Pokemon you get from um, from someone. I don't think you catch this one in the wild, and uh, I think that's gonna how they're gonna develop this Pokemon. So it's very interesting. Um, this is really all we know about it, and I really shouldn't say much more. Like the design, I like the look we're going with here, 
and I really can't wait for the demo on Tuesday. So that's pretty much all I have to share with. That wasn't really a whole lot of news outside of the ones I said yesterday, and I really shouldn't share much more of my concepts because, hell, we're almost there now, basically a month away, which is just, oh, I can't wait. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys, and uh, you know, leave your comments what you thought about these Pokemon that are coming, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.